All right, our robot is just about complete. Nice job, everybody. This has been awesome. So what we're gonna do is the final steps, 27 to 32 of the assembly instructions. In step 27, what we're gonna do is take the cable. If we're looking at the MBOT from the back of it to the front, this is on our right side. It's the one coming from the ultrasonic sensor. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna loop up and go around and you'll see number four and number three here on the top. So the port with number three, it's gonna click into that. Same thing before, you'll hear a click. It helps if you tuck in this little cable right there, just as you go. It is much neater, not gonna get caught on the wheel or something. In step 28, we come around and in same thing, the front port, so there's number one and then number two, loop it around and click that in to the number two. And just with the last one, it helps if we tuck in this cord. There we go. In step 29, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna look at the bottom and we're gonna determine which is the left side. Will be this side and we need to follow that little wire up. And it helps if you pull on that wire a little bit and then you can see which one it is. What we're doing right here is we're figuring out which one is the left side because the left side needs to plug in to the specific side of the motor controller, which is M1 and M2 here. So we can click that one in and you wanna be gentle because there's just little metal pins in there. And then we're gonna click the other one in. So M1 and M2. And then to finish it off, step 31, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come around the back and there is the connector for the battery. And there we go. Our MBOT is assembled.